show me love. Feet on the couch, feet on the couch. Yo, yo. Yeah. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I got I can hear you, bro. Hell yeah. All right, cool. Yo, what's up, bro? What's up? What's up, bro? How you doing today? Thanks for hopping on this interview, for sure. Nah, no doubt. No doubt, bro. Much love, man. Much love. Yeah, yeah, bro. All right. But, but I've been good, yo. How you been? How you been? Good, good, bro. I just, like, I'm about to drop a lofty 305 interview right now and shit. Um, fucking just trying to get interviews every day, bro. Just grinding on the seat on the couch shit. <laughs> Word. That's what's up. That's what's up, bro. You got to, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. Got Ain't to. no stop. Ain't no hey, stop. Quick question. Is what's this smoker-friendly? Can you smoke it? Oh, hell yeah, it's bro. You can smoke right? shit. If you were here in person, it would be smoker friendly too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. Hell yeah, bro. Let me just get all these questions I had right here. I'll be able to get this interview started and shit, bro. Show for show. So it's feet on couch. I'm Nicolo Bands. We here with, with Nefarious or Kill Nefari. Which which one do you go by more? I go by Nefari or Nefarious. Nefari. All right. So that's how you pronounce it. I would always say yeah. Nefari. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, Kill Nefari was just my at name, and then everybody just started calling me that out of nowhere. So mm -hmm. then, like, they just start running with that name too. But it's really just Nefari or Nefarious. All right, dope. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And to start it off, we want to get to know you a little bit. So where, just to start off, where are you from? Okay, I'm from Broad County, Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you know where everybody be yeah, yeah, from. Yeah. Kodak, messed it up. Hell yeah. And how did you first like get introduced to music as a kid? You know, what I mean, just listening to shit, like growing up. How was growing up for you a little bit? And getting introduced to music. Uh, well, growing up, my pops used to make music, so. But he was a reggae artist. So growing up, I already like knew his music. Like I would like bump his music as a kid. I know all the words to his songs just because it's like my pops making music. So mm -hmm. I'd really study his music a lot. And then as I got older, um my older cousin from like he he was like growing up in New York. So he had like a whole different like style to him. And like mm -hmm. that's who I started looking up to, like heavy. So I learned a lot from him and he made music as well. So I ended up studying his music and mm. the co the combination of both of them kind of made me want to be a musician as well. So, Oh shit. Hell yeah. That's dope. So it was already in the family and shit like that. He was already around people yeah. cooking up shit all the time. Yeah. I basically grew up in it. Oh yeah. That's dope. And what was like the first artist, like as a kid that you found that you were really fucking with, you know what I mean? Like listening to like just random shit, you know, we had the internet and all that. So there's a lot of artists you could go and find and shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I say, honestly, I'd have to say 50 Cent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 50 Cent, man. Like he was too fucking dope to me. Like everything he dropped was like fire. Like I remember watching um In the Club. I remember sitting in front of the TV every single time the video came on. Like any time I heard the song on, I'd run to the TV to go watch it. Like, and then Many Men, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. after that, I was like, I was stuck on Fifty. Like I bought all his albums, like G Unit clothing, everything. Like I was Fifty Cent, like all the way. <laughs> <laughs> dope, dope, bro. Hell yeah, I fuck with Fifty Cent heavy too, bro. Fuck yeah. And, like, I know you spoke a little bit about how, like, you evolved into becoming an artist, you know, with your cousin and shit like that, and your dad, like, being a reggae yeah. artist. But uh, what was, like, like you first becoming to recording artists? Like, what was the first song you ever made or something like that, you know? Uh, first song I ever made, first song I ever recorded was um, Chubb. It was a, a song by Earl Sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. I, did a, I did a remix to Chubb, and then that was, like, the first song I recorded and I put out. Yeah, so that, that was like the first time. But before that, like, since I was like nine, ten, I was always writing raps and stuff. I just never like was putting together like full songs, mm -hmm. just write it. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, I know what you mean. Just getting that pen and paper just out, just like expressing yourself yeah. and shit, just feeling yourself like, oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> a fact, a fact. Just Show finding me. yourself. Oh yeah. And speaking a little bit about your music and how would you describe your workflow? Like where do you usually make music? Is it at home, in a studio? How do you like get started with a song and shit? Um, uh, honestly, my songs come about like 
different ways. Like I, I make mu- most of my music at home now, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But they come about in different ways. Like I could be playing basketball and a hook would come to me. And then like, I just, while I'm playing basketball, I just keep on like repeating the song in my head. And then by the time I get home, I'm ready to like go jump on it. Or I'll be in the shower and like something will hit me and I'll be like, all right, when I come out, I got to make sure I remember that. Like, you yeah. feel me? Or I'll be driving and then I'll, something will hit me. I might pull out my voice memo and just record it real quick. Yeah, just different vibe. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Different situations. I think it froze real. Can you repeat that real quick? Like, I, I like think it was you feel me? I'll be stuck where it's, I don't really got no like inspiration. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, but I said sometimes like if I like lose inspiration, I'd like just freestyle some shit or I just force myself to make something. Mm-hmm. Oh, true, dope, dope. And can you hear that? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. It, it got back. It buffered a little bit or some shit like that. But let me see right here. And you know what would what would you say like? I know we were talking about like 50 Cent and stuff like that, but what would be some other inspirations that you had, whether it be like musical, whether it be just inspirations in life? Like you said, you play basketball, just get inspiration from life and shit like that. Um, I had a lot of inspirations, honestly. Um, Lupe Fiasco, he was like a big inspiration. His song, Superstar, mm-hmm. I really like, like that song like gave me a lot of like motivation and like inspiration to like, be what you say you are like as a kid like i really wanted to be what i say i was so mm-hmm. you feel me that song made me feel like all right like i am what i say i am and i'm gonna be that um Dwayne Wade, me growing up like Dwayne Wade was the goat for me like you feel me like mm-hmm. he really like gave me that motivation too and like at whatever i wanted to do like i just wanted to do it just because i seen where he came from mm-hmm. um everything i had like a lot of inspirations uh, lil wayne of course Lil Wayne's always been an inspiration, like too dope, like all his yeah, albums, yeah. everything. Um, let me see, J Cole. I'm a big J Cole fan. Like I know mm-hmm. all J Cole songs, like front to back. Like I fuck with J Cole heavy. So yeah, yeah. yeah he got that. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, um, just just regular shit you feel me just struggles you go through like struggles i went through in my life like Mm -hmm. all those type of things just gave me motivation my my older cousin my manager Mm -hmm. and yeah just like that dope dope bro yeah just shit hell yeah hell yeah bro and what are some of like like favorite your favorite producers sound wise like whether it was growing up or nowadays that you work with and shit like that what are some of your like favorite producers that that like you like their sound and shit like that um okay my favorite producers uh growing up swiss beats was far right oh, yeah. swiss beats like i i used to write, yeah it's, it's my heart uh swiss beats uh dj premier uh who else i say you know shouts out to my boy david the dog like we've been working but He's definitely like up next with production. Like I feel like he got that sound for real. Um, Bass Santana, those two, you feel me? Like I'm, mm-hmm. I, like I'm a big fan of his production, like his beats and shit. Hell yeah. Um, let me think. There's a lot of there's a lot of producers out here. You feel me? I don't want to like miss some people, because there's a lot of producers I fuck with. You know? mm-hmm. oh, hey. I'm trying to think. Take your time, bro. Take your time. Yeah. I mean, if I remember any, I'll come back to it. All right, cool, cool. And speaking about, like, you know what I mean? Like, bass and, and y'all, like, how did that song Fucker in London come around? Because that's, like, the first song I heard you on. Like, I was like, oh, shit, like, Fucker in London, that shit fire. I was like, hey. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, The way Fucker in London came about is we was in the studio, and we were just, like, working on like a little EP and shit. We were just working on songs. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, I just randomly just made Fuck Her in London and then I played it for him and he made his verse like the same time and like we just like recorded it. Oh shit, that's dope. Hell yeah. So that shit just got put together. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And like, 
I know you recently released um, Off the Net, Proud David and Don, you know what I mean? Are there any other recent releases you want people to go check out? Because we'll have all your links in the description and all that. But anything you specifically want people in the audience to go check out and shit like that, they should go run that shit up, you know what I mean? No, I would say Off the Net out now, run that shit up, you did Kill Gang, <laughs> Shark House, shout out to all my niggas. Um, yeah, don't stop playing that shit. That's the only song that I like recently dropped that I want y'all to listen to right now. Right, I got yeah. I got a whole project on the way, but that's the only song from the project that I'm so far. Dope, dope. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. And speaking about like Shark House and Louis Savage, how'd you meet Louis Savage and shit? How'd y'all make that connection? Uh Louis Savage is my brother. Like we we go way back before rap and all of this. Like we go back to just like kids like trading shoes and like just being fly diggers out here. Like we yeah. before like music and stuff, you know what I mean? Like He's, he's like a brother. Like, we used to party together and just, like, just do different shit, like, before any of this stuff type came about. So, yeah, like, when when music and stuff came around, it was just natural connections because it's just, like, we both came from the same thing and, like, we've been, like, close since before it. So it's just, like, we can just do this and have fun, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Dope, dope. And how did you come up with your with your name, you know what I mean? Nefarious or Kill Nef Nefari? You know what I mean? Uh, my pops gave me um, Nefarious. Mm -hmm. He named me that. Like, when he was locked up, that was like, he was reading books and shit. And then he was into Machiavelli and stuff. So mm. when he came home, he, like, started, like, telling me about, like, different books he read and, like, different words he learned and shit like that. And he was just like, yeah, like, Nefarious. And he's like, go look it up. And I looked it up, and it was hard. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And then me being Jamaican, I just ran with the Nafari, like mm -hmm. for Russ Nafari and stuff like that. Yeah. So it was just a swing on the name. Oh, hell yeah, bro. It's dope. It's dope that you got like that name given to you. You know what I mean? Like shit was genuine. Yeah. It came up organically and shit. Fuck yeah. It's dope. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. So, yeah. And what would you say is like the first song that you made that really impressed you as an artist? Because, you know, like artists make songs all the time, you know what I mean? But what was the song that really like impressed you that you were like, oh shit, like this, that? This that shit. <laughs> uh, crack rock. Um, I don't know because like I took it off. I took mm -hmm. it off of like platforms, but it was like a song called Crack Rock, which was a remix by Frank Ocean. And yeah, like after that song, it was like a really lyrical song. But after that song, I was like, yeah, I could really like rap for real. Like I used to listen to it and like forget that it's me rapping. So then oh, I was just shit. like, yeah, like if it wasn't me, I'd listen to it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's dope. That's dope as well, bro. Hell yeah. But that's my thing. I try to like, when I make my music, I try not to listen to it from my own point of view. I mm -hmm. try to listen to it from someone else's point of view. That's dope. Rather than like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, yeah. yeah I, get, I get what you mean, bro. Fuck it. And Oh, yeah. And what, what plans do you got for like 2021, like a, for your brand, like you as an artist, everything? I know you said you have a project coming and that often that is like the first single you've leaked off that shit. But um, what's other things that you got coming? You know, what I mean, anything, any plans in the work shows or some shit like that? You know what I mean? Uh, well, now that the now that they stopped with the band and shit. Mm -hmm. people could go back out i'm planning to do some shows soon but um i'm planning to do my clothing line soon too um i wish i could show you a shirt my, my little brother's wearing one of them right now like he just left me with him but like if i could show you the shirts but yeah um the clothing line is on the way um oh, dope. Hell yeah. the project and then yeah I, like now i just feel like i'm in a space where i can start like just having fun and going out and just like start starting to like meet people and just put myself out there more. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, dope, dope, bro. And how is life for you like just on the daily? You know what I mean? Just to let like your fans into it. Like, how's life for like you on the daily? You know what I mean? Life for me on the daily. I mean, I mean, life for me is good. I I just chill really. Like, I'm a real chill person. It's like I don't really need too much or i don't really got to do too much in my life like I, I could i could vibe out i play warzone a lot you feel me i got a lot of friends on warzone so i'd be on there a lot fucking them up Hell you yeah. know um feel me probably get high all day 
of course. Exactly. Um, might record whenever I feel like I'm just bored. You feel me? I might just record. I'm back and forth. I might play some games. I might go record a little bit. Uh, smoke, get high. Might go chill with some friends. And then sometimes I might feel like I'm in my modes where I just want to like be distant from everything and just lock myself in and just straight record and mm-hmm. just find different sounds and stuff like that. But yeah, life for me, life for me is good. Dope, dope, bro. Right. Hey, um, and just to speak about your music a little bit like that, how do you usually like, um, do you usually engineer your own shit or how do you get like that side of the, the songs done and everything like that? Um, it all depends. Uh, I sometimes I engineer my own songs. Um, sometimes I might have this engineer it, or I might mm-hmm. have my homie chosen one engineer. It all depends on what the sound like, what sound I want. Like, if mm-hmm. I want like a gritty sound, then I just do it myself. But if I want it to sound more professional, or I want it to sound like, if I want a sound that like I don't know how to do, then I'll go to chosen or mix mm-hmm. for that. Don't you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey yeah, hey yeah, dope. Yeah. And what are some of like your favorite like collaborations, whether it be like released or coming soon or anything like that? You know, I mean, you don't gotta put on anything for anybody. You know, don't let out too much. But what are some of your favorite collaborations over the years? My favorite collaborations over the years. Uh, favorites is Fuck Her London, of course. That's like one of my favorite songs that I made. Um, what else? I say, um, there's another song that I've done with um, Yayo and Red Dot 550. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one of my favorite collaborations. It's already out on Yayo 54's page. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you've heard of Yayo 54. No, I have to check you, Have out. you heard of him? I haven't heard of him. I heard of Red Dot and all them, but I haven't heard of Yayo yet. I'll have to check him out. Okay. But yeah, you got to check him out too. But yeah, we got to speak. We, we all three of us did a song not too long ago. That shit is fire. So y'all got to get set. Y'all got to yeah. catch that. Got to go check that one out. Hell yeah. And then speaking about it, I know you said you had like a clothing brand and shit. How's that? How'd you get interested in making clothes and all that shit? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, my manager to make clothes. They, they, my like my management. They already have their their clothing going on. Green Gate oh, Clothing. Dope. Hell yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Green Clothing. You can't see my chain, but yeah, see it right there on my chain. Oh hell yeah. Um, yeah, but they already got their own clothing line and shit. So, like, my manager just basically was pushing me to start venturing into clothing too. So, eventually, he just decided to step up, and he was like, "Yo, like, this is the type of." stuff that I got laid out for your clothing line. Mm-hmm. Doom, doom, doom. You could just pick whatever you like. And then from there, we just started to get working on it. And yeah. Hey, that's dope. That's dope, bro. Hell yeah. I'll be looking out for that shit whenever it drops or whatever. See what's up with all that. Yeah. Yeah, and- definitely, definitely. And you got to be on the lookout for Green Gate too. Oh, yeah. yeah you got to be on the lookout for the Green Gate merch they got merch they got papers everything oh shit damn yeah. they doing everything for sure for sure I have to check them out for sure real soon and i want to make sure i get everything that you want in this interview as well I ask every artist this question uh is there anything you want me to ask you that you think that i've missed or anything like that you know because i want to make sure you get everything that for your fans like to check out your interview and everything like that um no, you pretty much you you pretty much ask some good questions. Yeah, like you really got like down to like all the like base and the important shit, really. Yeah. Dope. Dope. You pretty much asked me everything. Dope, dope. Yeah, I just like to make sure just because sometimes like people be hitting me like, oh man, like I wish you had asked me this. And I'm like, oh shit, uh. <laughs> but no, actually, but oh go ahead. I will say that um I what 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 I do like what my fans to know is yeah. that I make music for fun. You see how like I told you how like I grew into it. Yeah, you feel me? Like 
I really make music for fun. Like this is something like I do. Like I get excited doing. Like I make a song and like I get excited that I just made like some fire song and like I enjoy it and then want to put it out so that they can hear it too. Like I don't make music to like. Like, you feel me? I don't make music just because it's something that everyone's doing right now. Or like, you feel me? It wasn't something that like I just decided to do last minute. Like I've been doing this like my whole life. So when some people like I be having people on Twitter, like saying like things like, oh, like, like you, like everybody raps or Mm -hmm. just another SoundCloud rapper and shit like that's like for me that's not what it is like I'm a real artist bro like once in time you're gonna hear like I got songs singing like I got songs making like boom bap type music I got songs making like up tempo like I got everything like I do I do it all literally so in time you'll see hell yeah I'll be looking out bro I'll be I've been checking you out since a long time bro I always be like seeing your shit like i still got all that fucking morph and all that shit it's still saved on my phone bro because i downloaded that hoe on my phone i was like nah, yeah. bro, I, can't, I can't lose morph <laughs> that's lit that's lit bro i was thinking about it honestly a couple people hit me up about that i was thinking i might put it back out i might because it's on private i might just put it back out oh dope hell yeah hell yeah bro i still got that shit on my phone bro i was like got that soundcloud download shit so low-key it all saves on my phone <laughs> Yeah, but I want them to go watch the video, the Morph music video out on YouTube. Go look at it. Go watch it. Go watch it. Oh, hell yeah. It, we'll put that shit in the link in the description and shit so that people can go check that shit yes, out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's lit. It's lit. It's lit. And so, like, my last question, I know you did say, like, a little message to your fans and all that, but what would be another message that you have to your fans, people that are barely checking out your video, you know, the interview, barely checking out your music for the first time, new and old fans, what is the message that you got for them? Um, I want feedback. I want y'all to let me know what y'all think. I want y'all to let me know if y'all fuck with it and all of that. That's what that's what we do it for, you know. Like some people, like some some people listen and they'll be like, "Yo, I've been fucking with you forever," and it's like I never knew that because it's like yeah. you like you know me. You like you never gave me no type of feedback or anything. Like and sometimes that's what that's what you want the most is section to head in with your music and stuff like that. So I, I say just feedback. I just want like, yeah, I just love my fans though. I just want them to know I love them and I appreciate all my supporters and everybody who listen. Like that that's what keeps me going. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, bro. I fuck with it. I fuck with it heavy and shit. Now, she, I see you, bro. I seen like you like level up, bro, as an artist and shit. You be shining now at the girls and all that shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah i appreciate that man you know i try i try <laughs> and i wish you the best bro prosperity and and anything you want to do bro whether it be music clothing basketball any shit you want to do in your life bro i wish you wealth and prosperity and all that shit you know what i mean no i appreciate that bro love bro same to you man same to you bro like i see you got this like interview shit going it's pretty dope bro you should keep up with it bro for real yeah yeah definitely yeah yeah thank you thank you bro because i just started this shit in february bro like i've been at this shit for like what's it may now um okay just a little bit so just trying to keep the grind going all gas no yeah that you did a pretty what i'm gonna say you did a good amount of videos since february bro so you, you on it you on it that's what's up Oh, hell yeah, bro. I'm just barely, like, scratching the surface. I'm starting to get all, like, the people, like, I listen to, you know what I mean? Because I started with all the locals and everybody in my city, everybody out here doing shit. And now I'm trying to get, like, everybody I fuck with. Like, I'm like, hell yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but, yeah, after this, too, I'm also going to DM you because, like, you feel me? I'm going to stay in tap with you, but I'm going to actually give you, like, a little something to, like, you know what I mean? I'm going to give you a little tip, bro. All right, for sure, bro. Anything, bro. Like, anything helps, bro. For real, for real. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. All right, well, I'm going to do Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you for just looking into the music and, like, just supporting, bro. I appreciate all of it. Like, that's what we do it for, bro. I appreciate the love. Hey, no problem, bro. I'm going to do this little outro, and then we'll be out this and shit. And I'll send you a private link to the interview before it comes out and shit, Uh so you can check it all out and all that. I bet. It's lit, lit. 
Hell yeah. So this is Feed on Couch. I'm Miklo Bands. This has been the nef Nefarious Interview. Hell yeah. <laughs>